A while back, um, I was in a pretty contentious debate with Richard Dawkins in Mexico, and I took the liberty of quoting Freeman Dyson and this book, Infinite in All Directions. Freeman Dyson was one of the greatest uh, physicists of all time, a contemporary of Einstein at Princeton. And this is what he says. The universe shows evidence of the operations of mind on three levels. The first level is the level of elementary physical processes in quantum mechanics. Matter in quantum mechanics is not an inert substance, but an active agent constantly making choices between alternative possibilities according to probabilistic laws. Every quantum experiment for forces nature to make choices. It appears that mind as manifested by the capacity to make choices is to some extent inherent in every electron. Okay, there's more to this, but um, you know, when I made this uh, remark quoting Dyson, uh, Richard Dawkins um, with his typical Oxford uh, accent um, and contentiousness said uh, Freeman Dyson could not have said that if he said it's untrue, but I think he should sue you. So I wrote an email to Freeman Dyson and he said, uh, three riddles have puzzled me all my life. Number one, the unpredictable movement of particles. He didn't say random, unpredictable. Number two, our own consciousness. And number three, a universe fine-tuned for life and mind. Bottom line, unpre unpredictability, paradox, ambiguity, contradiction, and the proliferation of uncertainty is actually the inherent creativity of the universe. To the extent you're comfortable with contradiction and paradox and ambiguity and uncertainty to that extent you have access to the creative source of nature creative intelligence thank you